Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and squirrels. They're not here to see you drive. Well, they might like you more than me, but drive wants to be on camera tonight. Tango, come here. Hop up. Come on. Yeah, you might as well get to see everybody. Here's Tango. Ghost is over there pouting because she's the camera shy. You can't get my lap, buddy. I'm trying to show off some stuff for people. All right. This is not a Western NC disaster video because it's kind of late in the game for that. This is more of a, hey, if I had time to prepare, what would I do now that I know? So one of the things that I have liked the best in my prep tools for cooking is this portable camp, camp stove. Let me close it back up here so you can see it. Uh, full disclosure, this is some Chinese knockoff model made by a company called Bulin. Don't care, works phenomenal. I got it from a friend of mine who recommended it because we go to the beach a lot and we beach camp. And if you're from the coast like I am, you know that you can get a 20 mile an hour breeze on the, sound, on the ocean front at the drop of a hat. I learned the hard way, it's very hard to cook soft shell crabs and shrimp and, and fry grease, get grease hot enough to fry on most burners or when you're exposed to that kind of wind. So my friend Tim recommended this. And I will never be able to thank him enough for it. This exact model is about a 6800 BTU cooker. It is not available on Amazon right now, but the step up is. So this is the entire cooker. That's all there is to it. All right, I've used this one a lot. Let me show you how it works. You've got three legs, pop them out. One, two, three. Now you set your cook stove down. Cool thing is, here on the bottom, this rolls out. Look at that, it's a striker, which is nice. You got your top surface here, or if you're cooking on, on, on a bigger pot, like a Dutch oven, which is something I, I do all, often, you just fold them out. And you can see a pretty good sized pot there. Now this comes designed to run on them cute little annoying nifty jet fuel containers, which I think are a joke, because what am I gonna do with that one, one container? Cook lunch one time? I, I'm here for a week or three days, or, unknown amount of time. This is a butane or jet fuel to propane adapter. I'll put all these links, I started to say below in the video. That's for YouTube. This is Facebook. It's going to be above the video. But I'll put this in the, the description, wherever that might be, on the platform that you're watching. So, this converts this tank to run on regular one-pound propane tanks. So that's cool. And a one pound propane tank may be the way that you, you, you want to rock and roll. Maybe you just carry a couple of those around because they're cheap. And they are cheap. And they're great. But again, I have the old philosophy. Two is one. One is none. And why have less when I can have more? So, I have started carrying these. I love these. These are nice. Now, if you notice, I'm not that fat. It's actually that small. This is a five pound or 1.2 gallon um, propane tank. Has the same fitting as the larger style tanks. And this, if you saw my previous video, is my adapter hose that converts these small cook stoves that use a one pound tank to the big tanks like this. So here's how you set it up. You simply screw it in, we're done. And the stove already has a three foot hose, uh, pro yeah, pro probably a three foot hose. So I just simply screw my propane adapter into my hose. This is my, I'm trying to remember, yeah, I'm trying to remember. This, this thread is normal, righty tighty. It's not the inverted propane mail adapter. Okay, so I got that and I got my stove. So now I'm ready to cook. Turn this on. Here's your gas adjustment. There it goes. You can probably hear it. This now, fair warning, this sucker will cook. This ain't playing, this ain't like, oh, I need to boil some water. This is I had to make I, I, I had to make a full pot of coffee in 14 and a half seconds. Turn it on, hit the striker. Get fire. That's about as low as it goes. But it will flat out. Thing you want to cook in any wind you want to blow at it. 
Is it as cheap as those cookers that we were do doing for the Western Carolina stuff? No, it's it's not. It's not a cheap cooker. Uh, it's a pretty expensive cooker. I forget what this one runs. Probably close to seventy or eighty bucks. But after having used mine for I don't know a year or two now, fifteen twenty times, it is phenomenal. The thing I like about it is it is it's small. It's out of the way. It folds up very nicely. You can see if that's too too hot to touch. Nope. My burners are down below, so they're not hurting my hand. Nope. Didn't have it on very, very long. Fold my legs up. One, two, three. I always kind of gently wrap my cord around this. Keep it out of the way. Drop it back in the box or a bag it came in. And you're in business. That's how long it takes to set it up turn on and break it down all that in five minutes flat if you take out my stutter it was like two minutes flat but in some of my preps i have found the need to cook a big thing i still believe there well propane um doesn't take much just a little good hose good little tank good little stuff I love this thing. I will put links to the manufacturer. I'll put links to the newer model that is available now because this model is not. I, the newer model looks slightly bigger than this one, which, dear God, I can't imagine something that cooks more than this. And, for example, I can fire this thing up on medium, take a cast iron enamel Dutch oven, pour uh, three quarters of a, of a gallon of Crisco in it, and if I'm not careful, it's at 425 degrees in about seven minutes. That's fast. Turkey cooker doesn't cook that fast. It's fast. It will get hot quick. I use it for coffee because I can set it up and take it down in about one minute, I mean, less than one minute each way. It's boom, boom, boom. Put, put my kettle on, make, make, make my coffee. By the time I drink that cup, it's all cooled down, pack it away, and put it away. So there you go. I'll put some links below. Full disclosure. Um, if I link directly to something on my Amazon page, it's going to run through my affiliate store. It doesn't make me much. It'd probably pay me one half of 1%. But hey, if a whole bunch of people like something, I make a few bucks in the end. If you don't like that, just Google the part number without my affiliate code, and you'll still find it. All right? It's Friday night. I'm a week back from being in Western Carolina. We are about, the trailer's about one-third packed up, ready to go back. I'm waiting on generators to show up and propane tanks, and then we're off. Y'all have a great, great night, great weekend. Be safe. Keep those out, out there in Western Carolina and Florida in your prayers. And uh, I don't know. I guess stay tuned. I don't have a lot of interesting stuff, but lately people seem to find it useful, so I figure I'll share some of this stuff while I'm what's the word relevant <laughs> while people want to learn this stuff and I have the knowledge I'll, I'll be glad to share y'all y'all have a great day